part video, we're gonna show you guys how to launch a drone from a boat. So, to start, we're on our old trawler. We're cruising at about six knots, and we're on the back deck, and we're using the DJI Phantom 3 standard is the drone that we're gonna be talking about today. And uh, it's probably similar for most drones, but some minor differences. The newer drones have some different technology like dynamic home with the remote. We're lucky enough to have this big wide platform on the back of the boat where we can just launch the drone right off the platform. If it's pretty rough and the drone doesn't sit steady on that platform or you're on a little boat, you might want to have someone hold the drone while you launch it out of their hands. That's another great way to do it. When you're moving, you always want to launch the drone from the back of the boat and make sure there's no tall uh, obstructions in back of it. So we're moving forward and when the drone goes up in the air, it's just going to want to stay where it is which in relation to the boat, it's gonna go behind the boat. It'd be a really bad idea to launch the drone like underneath the bimini or in the front of the boat because as soon as it goes off, the boat's gonna run right into it while the drone tries to stay in the same spot in space. So we're gonna launch a drone here. There's something else to keep in mind is that it's kind of tough to see the display in the bright sun. It's better if you can shade the display somehow with like those aftermarket shade things or just being underneath the bimini. I'll launch it for right now. I can still kind of see. I'm gonna start it up. When I take off, I'm just gonna fly it straight up. That way it's gonna clear the panel, the solar panels that we have right behind us. I just wanna get it up really fast and then it'll just be behind the boat. That was a little too close. We usually don't cut it that close to the panels. You just gotta get it up. I should have launched it a little further ahead of these panels and gotten up faster. So from here, I'm just gonna fly the drone, get the shots I want, but it's important to remember wherever you launch the drone or turn on the drone, that's gonna be your home point. So you have to constantly, I try to do it every minute or two, update your home point position. Go here, hit the drone button there, and then you wanna update where the person is. So that's where the remote is. And then that way it'll update your current position to where the remote is and you got to keep doing that otherwise the boat where your remote is will fly out of range and the drone can't keep up because it's trying to stay where you launched it. <laughs> One of the hardest parts about flying a drone off a boat is landing it. So just want to make sure you get the drone nice and close to the boat, you update your home position that way when someone tries to grab it, it doesn't try to stay where it is, it keeps going with where you're telling it to go. Now the key is to get it lined up with the back of the boat, that way you only have to go forward and up and down, and you don't have to worry about going sideways too much. We're on autopilot going in a nice straight line. When it's perfectly still and you have a big platform, you can just land the drone on the back of the boat on the platform. But when it's rocking, rocking around, it's not that stable, you really need someone to catch it. Once it gets close, I like to turn it around so it's facing away from me. That way my eyes are like looking the same way the drone is and my controls feel more natural. And that's it. So as soon as that person is touching the bottom of the drone, the legs, you just want to shut it off right away. I hope this video helps you guys or is at least a little bit entertaining for you. That's always how we launch and land our drone from the boat. So far, no mishap. And your drone may be a little bit different. So you definitely want to check the specs and the features of your drone because I know some of them have dynamic home point where it follows the remote and uh, ours just doesn't have that. That way you don't have to reset the home position every few minutes. If you guys have any other tips or questions about launching, landing, flying your drone from the boat, just leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and maybe check out some of our other videos. We'll see you guys later.